Globe Allen Isles. Welcome back to another edition of Happenings of what's going on right here in Ballin Isles. Whether it be updates from golf, tennis, property management, or the latest on how the clubhouse renovation is coming along, Happenings will keep you in the loop. This week, stay tuned for an important message about your Comcast Xfinity router. A reminder where to have your car carriers drop off your car as you return to Ballin Isles for the season, along with a message from your Ballin Isles Charities Foundation. If you have any ideas for something to be featured in a future happening segment, please contact me at the Community Association as we are always seeking new things to be featured. Thanks for tuning in once again. We'll see you next time. Hello, I'm Ron Rizzi from the Ballin Isles Community Association in Information Technology, and we're here with a few simple tips on how to set your router once you have a problem connecting to the internet or perhaps not working with your telephone. Thing to do would be to turn the router around. You'll notice the power cord. First thing to do would be to remove the power cord from the router and then plug it back in and give it a try and see if that solves your problem. If it doesn't, turn the router upside down Make sure you remove the power cord. There's a battery compartment. Lift open that battery compartment door to disengage the battery and then clip it back together and then plug it back in and try it once again. If that doesn't resolve your issues, the last thing to do would be to try doing the cord and the compartment once again. But before you do that, make sure you turn off your computer and then turn your computer on last. So once this has a chance to connect to Comcast, you can get your computer to connect as well. Now there is a little reset button that you'll find on the back. Please don't press that because if you do, you will lose very, very important information if you changed your Wi-Fi network name or passwords and such. So don't press that. Just remove the electrical cord that plugs into the back or the battery compartment, and that should do it. Now, if you have any questions, you can feel free to give Comcast a call or call us here at the Ballin Isles Community Association office. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. My name is John Sawyer. I'm your safety security director here at Ballin Isles. I just want to give you a friendly reminder about when you have your vehicle dropped off or picked up and have it done at the PGA gate. And the reason for that is we have plenty of room there for the vehicle to be dropped off and picked up. And also, if you need a ride back to your residence after having your vehicle dropped off or picked up, please call the security help desk and we'll provide you transportation back to your residence. And thank you and you guys have a great day. Hi there, Ballin Isles. This is Lori from the Fitness Center. I'm doing an introduction for the Power Plate Pro 7 we have here in the Fitness Center. The Power Plate is a vibration platform and it's designed to stimulate our rapid response system which helps us keep balanced in um, our world. We're trapped between the ground and gravity and our body has to mitigate a lot of force. So the Power Plate, the vibration of the Power Plate and all of the different exercises you can do on that increase circulation, spinal stability, as well as your proprioception and your ability to balance in the world. So come on down to the fitness center, check it out. We'll be happy to give you a free demonstration. Thanks and have a great day. Hello, I am Mark Freeman, president of your Ballin Isles Charities Foundation. The foundation was formed six years ago to make a difference in the lives of our less fortunate neighbors by supporting local civic and not-for-profit organizations. This past year, over 700 Ballin Isles households supported the foundation, enabling it to award grants totaling $500,000, bringing its aggregate grants to over $1,765,000. The foundation is an all-volunteer organization and we welcome any and all help that we can get. You need not have a background in fundraising or be an accomplished business executive. All that is required is a desire to help those in need and a willingness to give up your time. In fact, the most important work that we do is reaching out to our friends and neighbors and encouraging them to learn how the Foundation is making a difference in the lives of others. Over the course of this fall, we will be presenting on Happenings a series of presentations explaining what the Foundation does and featuring the important work being done by the organizations that the Foundation supports. I hope that you will watch these videos and learn how the monies raised by your foundation are making a real difference. Thank you for your continued support.